Great energy today, always great energy. When you put the pads on for the first time, I thought it was uh, it was great to have so many fans come out to watch practice today. I don't know what the, the ending number would be, but it was uh, I think it created an even better atmosphere uh, for the players out here, and, and we certainly had some recruits on campus. I think that enjoyed practice as well. Questions? Very thoughts on the quarterbacks. People care about. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt, and certainly the I think the, the most important decision every year is, is who you like go out there and be the starting quarterback. It had a tremendous effect on everything in your program. Um, I, th I thought I thought there was some some good and some bad today. It was the first time we saw some blitzes in practice. I don't know that we handled those as well as we would have liked to. Uh, my expectations, I think, are a little bit higher. Uh, I really want to go back and look at the throws, look at make sure that the routes are being run where we want them to before I, I really critique it. But you know, I think when we come out on Tuesday, though, it, it, the reps are going to be distributed a little bit differently than they have been the first three practices. And I, those are decisions that between now and then we're going to have to get together as a staff and make. Can you talk about the helmet camps? Sure. With their, yeah. With their, well, how did they come about? You know, it was it was something that was offered to us in the off season, and and we were able to purchase them, and we've got them on all the quarterbacks, and and I think it's really been a helpful teaching tool for us as a program, to for the coaches to be able to look at the film, see exactly where the quarterback's eyes are before the snap, where they're looking during the play, and, and I think it's just one more piece of information that that Coach Friedgen and the staff can use. Uh, to help coach those quarterbacks and, and make sure that everything we're doing is in the right sequence up until the point we throw the ball. So I think it's been really valuable. I know it's something that that people have been trying to do for a long time and, and have tried to figure out different ways over the last couple of years to do it. Uh, but now uh, now we've got them in practice and we've got all the quarterbacks in and it's been really good. What do you see from that? Uh, I mean, it, 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 does, do things happen too quickly sometimes? When a quarterback moves his head? Or no, I, 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 think, I think what you can see right away is some of the younger guys how many different things they're looking at in the wrong sequence or or how quickly they're they're with a more experienced quarterback there's almost a calmness to the video as you watch it with a lesser experienced quarterback there's almost a a, a hurried or a rushed vision as and i think and i think you can say that to a younger player but when they see it themselves it's, wow what am i doing you know why are my eyes moving all over the place i think it really becomes valuable and we saw a market improvement from practice one to practice two. And I'm anxious to see now, today with the pads being on, with the defense being a little bit more involved, have we still made progress or have we reverted a little bit again? It'll be interesting to see the, how the progress goes throughout spring. What did you see from the offensive and defensive linemen with it being the first day in pads? You know, here's, well, I saw some physical play. I thought that was good. I thought on both sides of the ball we had guys trying to be physical. That shows up up front more than anywhere else. The front seven on defense, your O-line, tight ends, your fullbacks on offense. That, that I'm very pleased with. But I, I told the team, you know, what I saw as a whole as a program is, is too much inconsistency of play. And, and we made some spectacular plays out here on offense. We made some spectacular plays out here on defense. Uh, but there's too many of the other kind, the, the unforced errors. The guys, not we're, we're not picking up, we're not blocking something correctly, or we're not covering something correctly, or we're not fitting something correctly. Those are things that I think we have to raise our expectation level as a program and do them right at an earlier stage. You know, yeah, I know it's only practice three, but yeah, I don't know that anything we're doing right now is that complicated. I think we can be better in a hurry. Hopefully, by practice four, we'll be. Okay, with Caleb being able to play the same offensive line position two years in a row for the first time ever. Do you think that, does that help him? Does that help him make a jump that he's, I mean, not learning? I don't know how different left tackle and right tackle are. Sure. I think it helps. I think it helps. I think, you know, the switches from left guard to right guard, I don't know if that, that's really that big of a deal. I've had a lot of players have done that. But, but I think there's always an advantage to repetition. And the more reps you get at the same position, I think the better you're going to be. And I think just by virtue of that, it, it'll be helpful to you. How comfortable are you, are you uh, right now for your I don't know. I don't know that I'm, I'm comfortable in very many places right now. I think we've got a lot of players back, but you know, we're at, at the early stages of what we're doing as a football team, and, and we've got a long way to go. But I'm, what I'm what I am comfortable with is the effort, and that that to me is, is always where you have to start. Because if you don't have that, then you don't have any chance. So we've got great effort out here, and now I think we just got to we're going to play better football. Can you talk about Andre Patton. He seems to be one of the standouts. Andre has, has really, I think, really came on toward the end of the season last year, and his role got a little bit bigger as, as the season went on last year. And, and he's going to—he's going to be a guy we're going to count on to make plays. And he's going to be out. He's going to play a lot of football for us this year. You know, with Brandon and Karan moving on, he's a guy that immediately moves in. So you know, whoever the frig is, I don't get as caught up with those positions in terms of who starts because it's a rotation position. But 
you know, whether he's the guy who's out there for the first play or not, it won't matter. He's going to play a lot of football in the games, and we have high expectations for him. He's going to need to be productive uh, over the course of the season for us to be successful. Time for two more. However the reps are divvied up on Tuesday, do you kind of, for quarterback, do you kind of anticipate that being the same way uh, throughout the rest of the spring or will it change, you know, from week to week, practice to practice? I think, yeah, I think there's always opportunities for every player to move themselves up the depth chart. I mean, you guys are going to have to keep working, but the reality of that position is there's only so many balls you can throw in a practice, and, and you have to give the people at the top a chance to really improve their game if you want to, if you want to be an elite offense. So I don't think anybody's ever buried to the point where they can't move back up the depth chart. It's just it's going to be, it's going to be limited a little bit more, and, and sometimes for a player, sometimes their reps or the bulk of their reps are going to be an Indian 7-on-7 seven seven as opposed to the team boards. Kyle, is your approach with the football does it make a difference what league you're playing in? I think the, I think the, the league you play in always affects you a little bit. And what I've said, I think, about the league we're moving into, I think we've, we've always in the last nine seasons played competitive football in the leagues we've been in. There have been good football teams in, in all those leagues, and, and I think in the postseasons that has played out. But I think the, the challenge of this league is the, the week after week physicality of the league. I think to me that is going to be the challenge for us as a football team. It's not, I don't, I don't necessarily feel uh, that it changes the way you recruit. But as we go through it, I think that we're going to have to be conscious of it. And, and I, I got you know, the advice uh, from Brian Kelly during Bowl Week, because you know, they played essentially a, a similar type of Big Ten schedule, whether or not in the conference. That you, you make, you've got to make sure you have enough line you know, on both sides of the ball. And I think for us, we're trying to build that depth right now as we get ready to go in that week. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you.